I want to apologize. You know, I'm one of the um, leading bloggers that cover YW Melly. Ever since, you know, I dropped the paperwork, I've been on it, but especially since trial. And um, before we get into it, everybody hit the like button. Um, if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel and share this video. And before y'all come with the R-A-K, you solving the case, you the police, stop horse playing, man. The, the, the jury can't watch social media. Ain't nothing we saying go affect how this trial going. In fact, we only reacted to how the trial going. So cut it out, man. And on top of that, as the information changed since we're covering this day by day, Opinion is subject to change. So I don't want to hear that all AK you confuse the lost. Listen, when information change and get presented to you, opinion that can change. But after you know talking to Bruce Rivers and just talking to people and seeing how today went, really reanalyzing all the days of court. At first it appeared that Juan W. Melly was winning. At first, it appeared to me that the prosecutor has done a horrible job and the prosecutor fumbled the ball. Now, once again, I have no fight. I don't wish jail on nobody, even through all the jokes I tell. But I think I was wrong. And I actually think while Melly's lawyer is doing an A-plus job at objecting when he needs to, and, you know, basically defending his client, he's doing amazing. The prosecutor is putting up a C game, but I believe it's still winning. Now, let's break it down. Forget being a fan of Melly for a second. Forget being a blogger of Melly for a second. Put yourself as the jury for one second. Think like them. These people don't know who Melly is. If they do, they don't know detail. They have no feelings towards this, right? Now, let's break down what the prosecution has done. What the prosecution has done is slowly and methodically proving that their cell phone is Melly's. The judge said the phone is Melly's. Why is that important, AK? The phone reflected off two towers. One was in the middle of a marsh, a field, and the other was at the crime scene. In the, in the juror's mind, you're not going to think Melly was in no marsh just standing there. So, Melly was on that crime scene. This in the juror's mind because of what we got. So, that's part one of the phone. Part two is the admissions and the incriminating evidence that's on Melly's cell phone. Think about the drawer. So there's admissions and all that. This is what the drawer, text messages, all that. They're, proving, they're bringing in the game to sway the drawers, basically, image of Melly. He's not a good guy. He's a gang banger. Now they sitting here seeing Melly with all these gang signs, throwing them up, blood dapping, claiming blood, hearing it, and all this. So in the juror's mind, this guy is a gang banger. He's a thug. They found a fingerprint on the do outside door handle of the back left door of the car they have video footage of Melly getting in the car through the back left door they have GPS to where they made no stops and what I mean by they made no stops is the cell phone made no stops so whether the car stopped or not the cell phone never left that car so the cell phone was tracked from on Melly at the studio all the way 
in route, never broke route the cell phone to the murder scene. And then Melly used the phone to call for a ride. So you can't say you left the phone in the car. You can't say nothing because you used it. And you had it since the studio. So the phone in the video is placing Melly in the car in the back seat. Now, they did, they caught up the corner and all that, and they did, where did the person get shot at? Close range, the only way that the person got shot is if somebody, both people, is if the person in the left back seat shot them. That's the only way physically possible that these two people got shot. Remind you, this is the jury hearing this. Forget us. The jury hearing this. You don't need a weapon. You don't need nothing. All the prosecution has to prove is circumstantial evidence. And what the defense have to prove is reasonable doubt. Now, Bortman lied about what happened. And they also brought up the fact that he lied. Now, they just proved that no drive-by happened. They just proved that. On top of Melly's defense, not even fighting that a drive-by did happen. So once again, if you the jury, you know the only way this man could have died. And once again, I'm not saying this. I'm saying what the prosecution is laying out. The only way this man died is from inside the car. And once again, from the trajectory from the person that was sitting on the back left side of the car. And Melly never showed up to the hospital. Melly got picked up. What does that look like? Like you're hiding and running from something. And especially after the day. And if you notice that defender wasn't going, that, that the defense lost today. That that witness wasn't going for the defense BS, bro. Look at the body language on Melly manager and Melly, man. Talk ever since that phone got introduced, they more quiet. They ain't, as Melly ain't laughing in court no more. He know it's serious. They know it's serious, man. They know it's serious, bro. Now, when you got, you a game beggar and you look bad and you're not a good person. You got the cell phone that's yours that pinged you there because it's your phone. The game beggar to make you look crazy. The cell phone proves you were there. The cell phone got confessions and all type of stuff that make you look bad. The video footage you got in that car from the back left seat. The fingerprint is found on the back left door. And the medical examiners say the only way it showed proof that this person could have got shot is from close range and this person. And it had to be somebody in the back left seat. That is circumstantial evidence, man. And I looked up how many cases murderers have been found guilty just based from circumstantial evidence around the country. Over 50%. Couldn't believe it. Which means you don't need a gun. None of this. Like, if that prosecutor can paint circumstantial evidence and, 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 and you know it's circumstantial, see, a jury has to base off circumstantial evidence or reasonable doubt. So, yes, Melly Lawyer is doing a good job, but he lost the phone. The main thing that they were fighting, the phone. He lost that. So he's winning what he's winning and a prosecutor is losing what she's losing. And even though witnesses are failing, can we sit here and honestly say that the prosecutor still slowly, what Bruce said, brick by brick, places circumstantial evidence that look, Melly had to have killed them. It's the only thing possible. And that right there is where I apologize because I wasn't educated enough 
I lack the knowledge to actually know what I was looking for. Just to give y'all the updates. A lot of people, man, why you keep talking about it? Man, this is one of my most DM. I get DM'd on Instagram about this all day, every day. And it's trending. And I've been in it since day one. If you don't like it, just change the video, man. You don't got to watch this video. But a lot of y'all ain't going to be able to deny that, man. And the crazy part is the prosecutor ain't even done still bringing up stuff. But right now, can we honestly say that them jurors can look at reasonable doubt over circumstantial evidence when the five factors, fingerprint on the door, video footage of you entering that door, GPS, y'all did not make one stop, so you had to still be where you were at. The only way them two could have got killed is by the person that was sitting in the seat next to that door. The phone placing you from the, 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 the phone, the phone placed you from the studio to the crime scene. And they're saying it's your phone. Listen, this is all speculatory. Um, you know, we all, everybody want to play guess the games and all that. So this is what we doing. It ain't looking good for Melly, man. It ain't. When you really look at it and you use common sense, when we see them polls and they be having, is Melly guilty? Not guilty. And it be 70% not guilty. We be forgetting all Melly fans is watching. So only the 70% is his fans. And them little 10, 20 percent don't be from real legal people, man. I still think the prosecutor got something up her sleeve. And we just gonna have to wait to find out. But after educating myself, I decided to make a video. Just in case you wasn't educated, you learned, man. Melly not winning this case. Now, his defense is putting up a good defense. They're earning points. And it's not a landslide. But do you think them jurors gonna turn down the circumstantial evidence that the prosecutor placing? Nigga, you did it. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Y'all make sure y'all share this video. Follow me on Instagram at KingAK47 underscore. Uh, if you want to donate to the channel, my cash app will be pinned with the Instagram link. Let me know in the comment section how y'all feel, man. KingAK47, Voice of the Streets. I'm out.